That was a heck of a weekend to kick off the One New Zealand Warriors pathways. So how did it all shake down? Well, let's check it out. This is Warriors Anonymous next year. That's right, history was made on Sunday as the Warriors kicked off their Harold Matthews Cup and SG Ball campaigns over in the blazing heat of Parramatta in Western Sydney. And yeah, I can tell you, it was it was very hot. I was there commentating up in the shaded stands, so uh, it was it was pretty hot up there, so I, I can't even imagine what it was like out on the field running around. Just uh, incredible stuff. But uh, let's have a look at the highlights. First up, we're going to check out our Harold Matts under-17s team. Now, it might have been hot, but the defence was caught cold on this first play. Second minute, Andy's Johansson scores, but back came the Warriors with Homa Futu scoring the first ever try a few minutes later. It's the first try in the Harold Matthews Cup. What a great start, bit of history there. And then Cyrus Bloomfield from the Parramatta Eels, the fullback, just carved it straight through. Ran away with this one to take it out to a 10-6 lead, and that's what the score was at halftime. So pretty even stuff. However, the only problem was second half, and this big guy, Ocean's Vivella, he ran straight over the top of everybody in the 33rd minute, and that set the tone. He was, he was causing some problems, that big unit. He was... Uh, yeah, he was devastating. This guy was also pretty good as well. Mark Renauer crossed over in the 41st minute. You can feel it at this point. All the momentum was going the Eels' way as it was followed up by another try on the 50th minute by Samuel Polly. And then just to cap it off in the final couple of moments, broken down play here, but it ended up being pretty good in the end for the Eels as they snuck it out to the left-hand corner. And Lorema Rokosuka scores. So, so 34 points to 6. The Harold Matthews team went down. So yeah, as the heat wore on in that second half, you can see where the Eels piled up their points. So let's have a look into the next game. This was the SG Ball side. The Warriors, and they, they actually, well, they really showed some promise early on. Getting over the line there, and you can see on that one, they had a few missed opportunities. Getting over the line and spilling the ball. The Eels made no such mistake. They came up the other end and put a try on through Muhammad Alamadine, the winger. That was the first of a couple of tries. There's a little bit of push and shove as well. Boys getting to know each other. <laughs> Gotta love that. A little bit of footy. The Warriors, this was another of their missed opportunities. They tried to just rumble it over the line there, but the short ball didn't come off. And another mistake right near the try line. So... The Eels managed to go up 8 points to nil, they kicked the penalty. So they were leading 8 points to nil up until this point, which, well, Motopasi Kala, the fullback for the Warriors, with a great catch and kick return here. Man, he set the field ablaze with this run. And he also changed the momentum for the Warriors. He was dragged down by the cover defence, but that set the tone and that put them in great field position. As they swung it over to the left, Jesse Sorich, beautiful rainbow pass, love that one. And Seal Kali scored in the corner in the 24th minute to bring it right back. All of a sudden the Warriors got a good return for their efforts and they followed it up with another one as well. The play didn't quite go to hand, but that didn't matter. Because on this very next play, you can see good work here by Maui Winitana Patele Seal, the halfback, giving it off to that man again, Pasikala. Moto Pasikala, crossover for the try. Had a pretty solid all-round game, actually. Both on attack and defence. Some great plays. Saving tries, scoring tries, setting up tries. And here's an example of that. The Eels putting a good little kick through here. This was threatening stuff. But Pasikala was up to the, he was up to the task. He got back, he covered across. Doing that great work on the back end as well. Not just the flashy stuff. Speaking of which, how about this beauty? 40th minute. Flung out wide, great play again from the halves and a good kick through by Malakai Thama, the winger. And great play here by Maui Winitana Patelisil. Eventually it comes out to Jericho Filippi Talisal, the replacement player. He sees that great support play and look at how much they love that. What a try. That has got to be one of the tries of the season already. The Warriors are up at this point, 16 points to 8. But back would come Parramatta through Talataina. Lorenzo Talatina would just find something there, find a little gap, a little bit of a sleeping defence, a little bit of a chat at the end as well. He gets to try to bring them right back into it. The Warriors would come back though. And this man, Jesse Sorich, well, he was causing fits for the defence. The fullback was having all sorts of problems. Nearly a try here, not quite going to hand for Kalis Fatialofa, who played well, also the captain. 
and here comes the try. They go short side, Fatialofa again, one of these determined runs of his. And on this very next play, they'd swing it back to the short side. Winitana Patele Seal gave it out to the centre, Hiraka Waitai Hainga. And the Warriors would push their lead back out to six. They wouldn't get the kick. And then straight from the kickoff, bit of a tricky one to field, but that's the lapse in concentration. And this was a turning point, allowing Parramatta to come back. And they would come back with a good old fashioned double round. How good is a double round these days? And they get the ball out again. And this was Mohamed Alamadeen getting his second try in the 54th minute. Now that kind of swung things all of a sudden. Parramatta, 2020 tied ball game, but they swung onto the attack again. And this big boy, Sebastian Piukala, swung around with the tiring defence, getting the try, which was followed by a penalty kick, which would have iced it. The kick was missed, so there was a minute and a half for the Warriors to go, down by six. They needed to get the ball from this short kickoff. They tried, they couldn't quite get it. Parramatta picked up the ball. And within a couple of moments, they would finish it off. Great offload here, this magic ball out to the winger. And Dominic Ferrugia would score in the end to finish the job. 32 points to 20, the Parramatta Eels. The scoreline not quite indicative of how close that game was. It was back and forth and uh, lots of twists and turns. In the end, unfortunately, the Warriors would go down. But uh, a pretty good effort to start off with and uh, lots to like about that moving forward. So no wins from the first week, but hey, Plenty to build on for both of these teams. Lots of like about it. Next week, the Harold Matthews team has a bye, while the SG Ball side, well, they are playing back on home soil, up against the North Sydney Bears over at Pukekohe. So if you can get along, make sure you do, because it's going to be a pretty awesome season, I reckon. They showed a lot of promise in that first game. Didn't quite go their way in the end, but hey, they showed a lot, and it was, uh, it was, it was very trying conditions. So I think they can bounce back in the, and have a good result over the North Sydney Bears. So uh, make sure you get along to that. And also, if you want to keep up with all the news and highlights for what's going on for our Warriors Pathways teams, make sure you subscribe to us right here on Warriors Anonymous, and we'll keep you right up to date with Warriors Anonymous next gen. So hey, that's it. Week two, we go again. Up the waz, go the Warriors. <laughs>